Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Taurus love prediction reading for July 1st to July 7th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, patient, kind, loving, stubborn, sweet Taurus. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Taurus? Show me, Spirit Guides, what's going on? Let's see. Show me, Taurus, what you got going on. Spirit Guides, let's see. King of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the Emperor. <laughs> okay Taurus now I, I'm going to tell you he, here's someone that's all about his money I mean it's supposed to work especially with a Taurus but he's all about his money so much so that you're like you know he works because the nine of swords is right next to this king of pentacles see the king of pentacles can be, can be sometimes arrogant um, he can be very um It's all about him sometimes. He's used to getting what he wants. Let's say it like that. He's used to getting what he wants, but unfortunately, he's not able to get what he wants from you because that nine of swords, whomever this is, you got him up. You got him up at night. You got him trying to figure out what the, hey, what, how do I get this woman? That's just what I see because, see, for one thing, a Taurus is used to having their own money. They know how to make their paper too. And so here's this king of pentacles that's here that thinks that he can just come in because he's had other women. He's got other women. It's no big thing for him. Women chase him. He doesn't chase them. But you're not the one to be messed with on that. You know? You're not the one. So he's all, he, he doesn't quite know what to do with you. Because this mind of swords, he's up at night trying to figure out a strategy of how to get you. Because here in the middle of the reading is this Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. You know, he's going through his thing because the Eight of Cups means walking away. He's, he's, one minute he wants you, next minute he doesn't know what to do. He thinks, ah, leave her alone, she'll come after me. But you're not going to come after him because you don't chase. And good for you, Taurus, because Taurus, you're a woman is not supposed to chase. You are the prize, the man is supposed to chase you. I don't care, that's the way I look at it, whatever. Don't send me any negative comments because you are the prize. And when I say that, you also take care of the man. You understand that. But what I'm saying is, he is the hunter not the woman and he got that with you you are not the one he's up at night trying to figure out with this eight of cups you know how do i do this how what do i do how do i get her how do i get her how do i get this woman that's so different than what i've had because here's this nine of cups you check his boxes you check his boxes he wants to walk away from you but he can't walk away from your energy because you check the man's boxes everything what he wants take you think he feels like you would take care of his, his babies he feels like you're you you know you got your own thing he feels like i mean you got your own money you might have your own home you might have your own car you might have you just you might be educated it doesn't matter you might not even be those things you could just be dependent i mean independent you can handle your own business you don't necessarily have to have everything but what i'm saying is he sees in you what he does not see in these other women but oh boy, there's that emperor. The emperor can represent an Aries sun sign. That's all about control. He wants to control. He wants to control and he's got an ego. He's got an ego and he wants to control. And he doesn't know how he can control you. Because you're not one to be controlled. And that's what you have shown him. That's why he's up at night trying to figure out, you know, you know, should he stay? Should he go? Um, he's trying to figure out, do I, do I walk away from this? Because the Eight of Cups is in the middle of the reading. Do I walk away from this or do I stay? 
do I walk or do I stay? Because see, the problem is he's up at night thinking about this. Look at the eight of cups is between the nine of cups and the nine of swords. The nine of cups is about to check the boxes. The nine of swords is like, shit, this hell forgot me up at night thinking about how to get her. So he's not used to being in this energy. You put him in a whole different energy. But so good for you, Taurus. Good for you. Good for you for standing up for your boundaries, for doing what you what you do, for being a woman. That's what you do. So let's see. He has to choose. He has to choose what he wants. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Sit back, relax. I'm going to clarify the reading. Show me spirit, guys. Show me spirit, guys. Show me. Show me what the King of Pentacles, why the King of Pentacles is here for my Taurus. Sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. Let's see why this King of Pentacles is here for my Taurus. Show me spirit, guys. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. He can talk to you. He, he wants to love on you. <laughs> he wants to have a relationship with you. He's never been in this space before with any of these other women. But he sees you differently. He sees you differently. He's never been in the space. So let's see why the Nine of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. The Empress. Well, look at that. The Empress and the Emperor in the reading. Thank you, Spirit, guys. Here's the deal. This Nine of Swords is here. The Empress can also mean pregnancy, too. I don't see this, per se, with this reading. I think that he sees you as his equal. I think he sees you as someone that can handle him. Um, of course, uh, Empress means um, can mean also you know how to talk to him. You know what to say to him. He sees you differently than he sees the rest. The Empress. The Empress and the Emperor, that's a power couple. He sees like he, he sees you can be a power couple. He's worried about that because it's, this is someone that's equal to him. This is not someone he can push around. This is not someone he can tell what to do. You have the same things that he has. This is his match. He's met his match. So let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, the temperance card. See, and it's over the eight of cups because here's the deal. He's the temperance is all about, it can represent a Sagittarius sun sign, but it's all about trying to put the pieces together. See, the temperance card, they're mix, she's mixing, or the angel is mixing water to wine, making it work, making it do what it do. Instead of walking away from this, which he's not going to, he's trying to, he's trying to put all the pieces together to make it happen. To make it happen because he sees a power couple in you too. He's met his match. So let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, he's a girl, whomever I'm reading for, he sees all of this in you. He sees you being the mother of his children. He sees you not to get the bag. He sees all of that. He sees, he sees everything in you. He wants to be with you. You're different than the rest. Queen of Pentacles, that's that energy. You got a bag. Like I said, power couple. He sees a power couple with the empress and the emperor here. He sees a power couple with you. Not only that, he sees you the mother of his children. Very nurturing, very kind because the empress card has shown up too. Yeah, so let's see. Why is the emperor card here? Show me why the emperor card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the emperor card here? Seven of Pentacles. That is all about growth. That is all about growth. He sees growth. He sees growth with you and it's over this emperor and this is to me is important because the emperor wants to lead, the emperor wants to control, the emperor has ego, but he realizes with you, he can't be like that, that you have boundaries, that you're just as equal. You're his equal. You're not beneath him. You walk side by side with him. So he knows that it's got to be growth here. It's got to be growth to make this relationship work. Remember the temperance card. He's trying to put all the pieces together rather than walk away. He, you know, normally he loves them and leaves them. He's moved on to the next person. He can't with you. Here's the king of pentacles. Here's the king of pentacles. He can be arrogant. He got his own money. He used to the women coming after him. He's not going after the women. Women chase him. He doesn't chase them. But you're totally different. You got this man up at night, this nine of swords. You know, he feels like, how can I get this woman, this woman that I want? She's an empress. She's an empress. She is my connection. She does. She is my equal. And here's 
the six of pentacles he's willing to do whatever he likes the fact that this is a give and take relationship he likes the fact that you're charitable he likes the fact that you're kind but yet you know what you want and you do what you want you, you got money you know how to be independent he loves that you are different than what he's normally had here's this eight of cups he, he you know normally he loves him and leaves when he walks away he's not walking away though guess why because he wants to put all the pieces together he wants to make this work that temperance card which can represent a sagittarius sun sign but what he wants to do is make sure this is all coming together that your that his energy that your energy are coming together because he sees you as a power couple You've got money, the bag. Look at that, the Queen of Pentacles. Not only that, the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. She knows how to take care of the family. She knows how to take care of the man. And she also knows how to make that bag. She knows how to do it all. He is. He wants to be with you. He wants to be with you. Here's that Emperor card that's here. He's ego. He's got ego. He's an alpha male, but you're an alpha female too. But you know how to work him. You know, you know how to work him. And you know what I'm saying. Don't get upset. Man, you know exactly what I'm saying. She knows how to work him. She knows how to make him um, understand that she is his equal. She's his equal. This can be a power couple. But yet and still, you know, she is. she can be his significant other as well. She can run the family. She needs him to understand that. She could, if he marries her, can run the family. But still, she needs to be able to make her back. Here's the Seven of Pentacles here, which is all about growth. Now, I see the Seven of Pentacles as growth, too, with having a family, having a baby, all of the above. But it's all about growth here with this. This relationship is all about growth because you have a power couple. You're a power couple. He sees that. He knows that. He knows he has to grow with you. He has to grow with you, and he wants to grow with you. He wants you to have his children. He wants. He, he does. He's just trying to figure out how to, how to act to get you because you're his equal. So give me three to five. Let, let me see. Excuse me. Not three to five. Minutes. I'm sorry. Let's see what the oracles have to say. Let's see what the oracles have to say about this um, about this relationship. Let's see what the oracles have to say. Show me oracles. Well, I haven't pulled this card. Trust. 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 I'm going to say opportunity. There's nothing wrong. He sees this as an opportunity with you. He sees this opportunity. I'm going to pull romance too because he knows he's got to do something to get you because you're his equal. Now, I'm going to look at this. In the near future, you guys are going to be together. This is going to be a power couple. In the near future, future, I see a peaceful resolution. I see big happy changes. These are the cards just, oh, just coming out. I see meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. Whatever your higher power is, whoever you pray to, whatever you do, meditation brings answers. I also see no need to worry. He doesn't need to worry. He really doesn't. No need to worry. In a year from now, and I'm going to tell you straight what I think a year from now is. A year from now, I think you definitely could um, possibly be the power couple and be married and moving on with life. You could be with your life partner. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.